Hi everybody, welcome back to Oni Camo Gaming, and this is your host Acidic, and I'm sorry it's been a long time, and I'm gonna explain, I'm gonna explain a lot. Uh, season 2 uh, kinda got skipped over, didn't it? We just like went a whole year without like any new content. But anyway, I'm back, and I'm gonna play some Metal Gear Solid 2, just for fun, just a little casually, you know? We'll just do a little tanker action tonight. So anyway, I tried streaming this the other night for fun, and um, I think I needed an Ethernet cable because it didn't work out very well. It, it turned out really bad. My uh, brother signed on and said that it was lagging like hell, so I had to let that one go. So it, it's still up for the time being on the channel. I'll probably end up deleting it because it's basically unwatchable. It lags, and then the audio is really low. So anyway, I had to get that all sorted out, and we're sitting here now with better audio oh, two years ago. So anyway, um, this a little casual run, uh, kind of like a little channel update, life update kind of thing, because I haven't done anything in a long time, and I, uh, the mission of I don't want to make videos the way right, I was making them back in 2022, at the, at the end of 2022, I, don't, I want to keep doing that, uh, the way I was doing it just, uh, it was very time consuming, and a lot of other content creators make content like that. And, you know, like, I'm not sitting here making highbrow art or anything, but I don't want to sit around and just make the same kind of content that people are making, so. Um, I was talking to a friend of mine about it, and he said, well, just do what you're passionate about. And I had to sit there and think for a while, like, I don't know what I'm passionate about, you know? So, you know, I've, I, I came up with a couple different ideas and wrote out, like, this really long schedule, uh really intense schedule for last year but I never ended up going through with that because you know it was actually like way too intense and I couldn't keep up that kind of situation but anyway I could have snuck past this guy I don't know why I'm just dilly dallying probably sat out here too long and caught a cold <clears throat> that'll happen on a hard mode but anyway yeah, the way I was doing it, just, it was too much, and my computer was crashing all the time, and I don't have, like, real top-notch software and hardware and all that. You know, I uh, just kind of use what I got. You know, like, I have a Patreon, but, you know, like, I also have a real small channel. We're still real small. We're still doing small things here over on Oni Camo Gaming. So, like, uh, the big ambitious videos that took me, like, weeks to edit and stuff, and crash my computer the way I was, it was, it just ain't working. So, I thought about how I wanted to approach this a couple different ways, and I almost I almost broke down and started using Windows Movie Maker like I did 10 years ago, or 20 years, and like, Windows Movie Maker has been around a minute. But, you know, I almost broke down and started using that to make videos. But, um, life got real busy for me, and I, I so while I was thinking about that intensive recording schedule slash editing schedule I was making for myself, I was also getting myself married and um, becoming a stepdad, and life is different after that, you know? Life is different after that, so I had to rethink some things. I started a new job. It's a full-time job. Freeze. Huh? So I don't want to say I'm going to get it in where I can fit it in, but that's kind of just where we are with the channel right now. You know, it's a small channel, and I got, I got some big responsibilities. But if I could have my druthers... This is what I'd be doing. I'd just be sitting around playing some Metal Gear, talking about Metal Gear, showing y'all some things. I don't know why I'm going through my items like I got other things. But, anyway. Whoops. I messed up. Yeah, th uh, this capture card's actually kind of weird. I've never actually been able to get it to capture the sound off of a PS3. Just the, uh... I don't know why I'm doing that. Snake, respond. Snake, just the visuals. So, we're actually I've actually got this mic set up in the room right now to where it's like capturing the audio off the TV. Like, ambient style. And it's kind of working. That's what I was meaning to do those two times. So, anyway, I don't think this is going to be a big boss run, y'all. But, uh, yeah, yeah, I was just doing this for fun anyway. Um, if you play this on easier modes, there's a ration in that vent, but on anything over... I think it's over hard... It's not in that vent. So, anyway, this part up here on hard mode can be a little tricky. There's there's several different ways to tackle everything in this game, but um, the important thing is to just kind of take your time. 
So how I want to handle this room is I basically want to get this guy on the top out of the way first. All right, so there is a guy that comes up in here and I want to get his dog tag too. I'll go back and out in the rain and get dog tags once I get the USP. Some of those guys out in the rain won't give up the U uh, dog tags easily, so you got you got to bring a gun. Where's that other guy? Uh, that other guy was coming. Usually when you come up here, there's a guy that comes up the stairs and will come back in this room. Well, I guess he ain't coming today. I can wake that guy up later or come back for his dog tags later. It don't really matter. It don't really matter. This is all for fun. So yeah, the other night, one of the dogs got skunked and that was a whole ordeal. And I live in within city limits. Like, I, I live in a city. And it's sort of like, have a skunk issue is pretty weird. But I know what happened. I know I know why we had a skunk issue. Turns out, if you uh, just put your bag out over overnight, It'll bring a skunk onto your property. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, uh, a little word of the wise. If you're going to put your trash out, um, take it to the can immediately. Don't let it sit by your back door overnight. If it's a little snaky or whatever, just go ahead and take it to the can. Because that's how you, you'll get a pest, like, the same day. I left it there and forgot about it overnight. On the same day, I went in to let my dog out, and then she got sprayed by a damn skunk. She, I think... No, she can't one-shot me on hard, but yeah, she'll one-shot you on EE. So it's kind of something. You gotta be on New Game Plus and skip this one. So she'll come right down the middle again. Ugh. I got caught. <laughs> oh, I got caught again. Man, I'm not doing great. <laughs> yeah, it's been a little bit since I've done this one. But yeah, I won't keep messing up. Whoops. I think I missed that shot. If you haven't played this on EE, it's actually a lot of fun in the European Extreme. Um, but unless you're like one of those hardcore speedrunners, um, beating on European Extreme isn't quite as satisfying as beating Metal Gear Solid 3 on European Extreme. I think it's really the Harrier fight for me. Fighting the Harrier on European Extreme is like a whole thing. People have guides about it. There's like an easy way for all the bosses, but the Harrier, you just gotta do it raw. <laughs> you gotta do it raw. So if you shoot the tarp again after she shot it, it just goes off the rest of the way. Ah. <laughs> I don't know if I can break the light on hard mode. I forget the, the rules. So you definitely can't break it on extreme, but you can break it on normal and under. So it's not too bad. Yeah, if you don't move fast enough, you'll just pitch that grenade while you're trying to line up your shot. Here it comes. I don't think I made it over here though. So this is really where the fight gets easy. If you can just get her back in that position. Oh, she got me. Ah, oh, that was, that was, uh, that was pretty goofy. Pretty goofy. I guess this is just a big D-Rust session for me. I haven't done this in a minute, so, oh well. Yeah, I'm gonna kind of get serious for a second. I, uh, don't, I don't like dying three times. <laughs> <laughs> I was afraid she was going to get me. Headshot. Killing spree. You are the moon master. It looks like a little blurry on top. I don't know what's up with that. Yeah. We're doing all right. She's already getting tired. All right. Now I'm going to run up to the front wall. Rinse and repeat.
Oops, no one of your That wasn't my best move either. Oh, I'm dead. Ah, oh, I shouldn't have done that. Ah, all right, D-Rust, D-Rust, take this. There we go. Big grenade to the front. And run to the back. All I gotta do is hit that ankle. Go sleep. And she's still awake. Sometimes I wish I had access to the PS2 version with the PS2 pressure sensitive controller because I really miss being able to cancel a shot. I really miss it. Whoa. <laughs> there was nowhere to go. <laughs> Left or right would have been better. Yeah, this is a little rough. I'm sorry. Ah, I'm doing terrible. Please don't get me killed. Whew, that was close. That was too close. Now I've been outside for an extended period of time. I definitely got a cold. So we got Olga's. And then there's a guy who comes out. But we're going to get his after we climb the top to the crow's nest and get the thermal goggles that sit up here. There's a way to get a SOCOM, or sorry, a USP suppressor in this game. But I forget how to get it. I th it might be locked on a very easy or something like that. But I think I'll look it up and show it off next time. Anyway, uh, you'll see down in the lower right corner there, by that floodlight, we got a wet cardboard box we can pick up, so we're gonna head over there. Thank you, buddy. Alright. Wet box. And since he opened that door, we can now use this door. I didn't show it off earlier, but when you first come up to the uh, bridge, you can only use the door on the left. I'm gonna start sneezing any second now. And I think there's like usually a ration in here on like normal or easy or something, but I guess not on hard. So I think I'll sneeze here in a second. Use that to my advantage. There it is. Hopefully he doesn't sneeze again. That would be terrible. He was, trying, he was going to go for it, wasn't he? Alright. That takes care of that. I think that'll work. Maybe not. There he is. Hopefully I don't see at the wrong time here. <laughs> so, I guess the sneeze didn't re-trigger him because he was on his way to pick up the guard. To go wake up his guard buddy. That's cool. I didn't know that was actually a thing. That's really cool. Let's see if I can get this guy to come up here today. Here he comes, here he comes, here he comes. He's coming up the stairs. <laughs> you gotta do it before it falls asleep. Come on, come on, come on. All right. You can never see where the dog tag is because of the shelf. 
do. Do. Uh, seriously? <laughs> oh, there it is. By the. It's actually by the shelf. Is it under the shelf? What happened? This is getting chaotic. Bro. <laughs> What's going on? Where'd the dog tag go? Did I not get that dog tag? That's wild. I'm gonna have to check the footage because I'm pretty sure I didn't get that dog tag. That's wild. I might have to do this whole thing again. Alright. Well, if it's all about completion, I'll, I'll come back and do that again another time. Both these guys are waking up. Grabbing a brush, putting on a little makeup. Yeah, I'll come back and get him in a minute. It seems like Snake has stopped sneezing, so I guess I don't have to worry about that anymore. see you when they're looking at their guard buddy sleeping. So is he just going to be turned this way or does he turn around? The guy in the next room. He does turn around. Surveillance camera. Freeze. Now I think this one's a hard ass. So I got something for that. Oh, he, he's not a hard ass. Well, I got bad news. This is a lethal run. <laughs> this guy. I want that dog tag. I'm feeling salty. Chocolate salty tags. There's nowhere to go but down. Freeze. This definitely ain't a ghost playthrough. This one will turn right or left. Right. No, yeah, he turns right. Freeze. And there's one on the south side of here. <laughs> I didn't think I'd be seen there. Uh. Snake! Snake! <laughs> I got startled. <laughs> I got startled. Yeah, this, this run ain't about any uh, any ranking. <laughs> it's just about fun. Oh, okay, it already counts me as having that. Yeah, I can hear my, my dog actually walking around out, outside my door right now. She's worried. She doesn't know I'm okay. But I am. Yeah, it was weird how long I could sit there without being seen, actually. I didn't get that one. There we go. Okay. Some USB bullets. We're gonna need those for obvious reasons. I usually play this game pacifist, but when you're uh, just playing for fun, sometimes you just do this. Yeah, it was really weird that I got seen at that corner there. I stood there for a solid second, not getting seen. That was amazing. I went in front of him without a gun. User error. <laughs> I'll just get, I'll get his buddy here in a minute. And then I'll uh, wake him up. There we go. Yeah, don't make silly mistakes. Have your gun out when you need your gun out. Speedrunners recently found a trick down here. You can go through this door and save like 15, 20 minutes if you want to. That's wild and cool. Thank you. Uh, if you don't know why there are flies on his ration or on him, it's because uh, he has a stinky ration. But you gotta pick it up while the flies are on it. And let's see. We'll we'll go ahead and clean up the crew real quick. Let's make a quick little murder scene, and then we'll go wake up his friend. And I'm not sure if I can monetize this with all these uh, obviously vicious killings. Look 
Look at the TV over there. It's showing the hole. So that's a new metal gear. Why are they broadcasting this? They probably want to keep a record of this exercise and maybe get a little presentation. Presentation? That ship's been transmitting a live video feed via military satellite uplink for a while now. So there's some brass out there smacking their lips over this little home movie. I've been trying to pinpoint the receiving location, but I haven't had much luck. There's a heavy-duty firewall in the way. I'll try some more, though. Wherever it is, it must be a warm, dry office with hot coffee on tap. Far cry from that tanker, huh? That's what happens when the battlefield has a revolution in military affairs. So, I'm not sure if that was entirely intentional, but that particular code I call it seems like it's littered with other video game references. So... You know, if uh, you're in a Ubisoft Far Cry or whatever, I think that one was for you. Um, Battlefield reference, but I don't know. Could just be coincidence that some of those words were said uh, around the time that uh, a lot of war simulation games were coming out. Or skirmish. Freeze. Huh? Whatever you want to call it. Oh yeah, I'm serious. Very serious. Alright. So, yeah, let's uh, go outside and get those three goobers. I think I already got this guy, didn't I? This is the first guy I got. Ah, I guess you can't do it like that. in this game. It's like ambient Freeze. at the same time as like just having like a really good spy theme going on, you know? Freeze. This guy's trying to pull fast maneuvers on me, man. I wonder if I can get him like that. Ah, it was very close. The hesitation. I already got his. I don't need him anymore. All right, that bandage might help me out later when I'm in the the guard rush hall, the hall of guard rushing. I've been seeing a lot of good gameplay lately, consider, uh, concerning the guard rush. It makes me want to try some new things. And then this last guy can be a little tricky. Well, we can wait that out. Oh. <laughs> What's going on? I thought you looked longer for the uh, for longer than that. That was ridiculous. Uh oh. I come from. I didn't know they can just appear out of thin air in this game. I thought they actually had to come out of a door. Goodbye. Alright, where's this guy? Is he up here? No. He's somewhere else on the route. Come back for him in a minute. There he is. I get him later. Right now I'm gonna get his buddy. There we go. That was pretty clean. That's right, I already got him. So I didn't need to do that. And since the guy is on the other side, I bet I can get away with this. Yes, okay. If you were like right above me, I think I would have been screwed, but he's coming. A 
feeder sticking out of it. <laughs> That's no good. Well, I like the way they say now. <laughs> All right, my man. See you on your birthday. Uh, something I pointed out on my live stream that turned out like ass that I didn't point out on this one is that if you have your internal time on your system set to the correct date as one of the guards birthdays as uh, depicted on their dog tags whenever you go into first person or put your binoculars on them, one of the two uh, their birthday will appear over their head with a birthday candle or something I used I did this once when I was a kid but I, I forget exactly how it works but something you ever want to mess with just to see how it how it happens it's pretty uh, it's pretty funny I guess weird attention to detail there's a ration back there if anyone needs it I guess I don't and moving on moving on with our little murder spree my wet So a little bit of backtracking action. Boot scoot boogie. I don't want to get seen. Oh, I got seen. No. No one's here. Don't follow these footsteps either. Let's go follow my footsteps. Oh, I guess they were too faint. I don't know. Here we go. They are pretty faint. You might run out of footsteps. And I don't think I need him, but I'm just going to double check. I guess I did need him. All right. It's just a little toy. We don't care. I like to have a little room to work. We are the engine room, so I can be loud. Let's give him a little Jesus Christ injury. What? Snake, respond. Snake, snake. I uh, don't really understand what happened there. What? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I don't understand what happened there. Yeah, that was weird. I don't know why I didn't let me go lethal on him. Give me the lethal enforcer option. Uh, I was right there. One mother taken care of. I wonder. That might work. Oh my god. I've never tried that before. That's cool. <laughs> that works. This guy usually gives me problems. I want to put him to sleep for now and come and get him later. Oop, I missed. I usually like to do that. Because he'll spot me from above when I'm trying to work on someone else and I don't like it. Oh yeah, I need to execute real quick. Yeah, that was really weird, that one guard that alerted. the engine room was too loud to be alerted. I guess I was wrong. Yeah. 
since I already got those two, I don't think I'll have to do it again. There we go. And like I said, I want this guy asleep. So I don't like to be discovered while I'm doing things. And there's one guy down here. I forget his whole ordeal. That's right, he comes up the stairs a little bit. What was that just now? I'm just a box. Alright, so I need to handle this guy in another room. I wonder if that was the tough guy that I didn't get because the game was weird. I'm gonna go put him in a locker for now. Or at least that's the plan. Huh. That one cutscene didn't trigger. Interesting. I wonder if it's because I had to continue right there with the, the weird guard situation that happened. Or if it's because I killed him. <laughs> take this guy some more fun. Also, if you want to get grenades, there are grenades down here, all the way at the bottom. Alright, so that's that guy. Hopefully nothing silly happens. While I try to get this guy. Just try to pull the trigger. Don't shoot. Didn't get weird that time. Yeah, I really wonder what happened on that one. That was weird. Where's the other one? There it is. Yeah, a little rustier than uh, what I should be. That's all right. We're almost through. There's only a few more dog tags to collect, really. But with that being said, I've actually been playing for a while, and... Uh, this footage is going to get chopped down. So I'm going to go ahead and save it. And then I'll finish up the tanker on my next casual playthrough of some murderous MGS2. Murderous. Uh, uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and just overwrite this. Th that was the save from my uh, live stream the other day. I actually played a lot better on my live stream the other day. I I, I don't know what's going on me to, uh, going on with me today. It was weird. <laughs> Snake. Yeah, that one thing with that one guard when I was trying to put a bullet in him to to get his dog tag and he alerted on me. That was very strange. That's never happened to me before. So anyway, um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and call it, and we'll see you next time. Hey y'all, it's your boy Acidic. Thanks for watching the video all the way to the end. If you enjoyed the content, then please, you know, do all the stuff that the YouTube beggars beg you to do when you watch their YouTube videos. If you didn't like the content, then, you know, leave me a comment. Tell me what you do want to watch. Uh, tell me what you're into, and maybe we can meet someone in the middle. If you want to support the channel, that'd be mega awesome. Please hit up the Patreon. Any support would be appreciated. I'm trying to do my own thing. I'm trying to put up some videos, try to be somewhat successful, and, you know... If I could spend more time doing this and less time, you know, working for people who don't appreciate me, then that'd be cool too. So, take it easy. <laughs> I didn't think I'd be seen there. Snake! Snake! You got startled.